Hello everybody, Salty Watson, he's back. I finally have the Garadoga Heavy Arms type. I was, I've been waiting for this thing for a while now. So, uh, <coughs> quite excited. This is a very, 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 very strong suit. Uh, I'm quite, I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, it's packing a bunch of good weapons at its cost. I, uh, got the level 2. This is the 600 version. Um, so, pretty much at... 550 and up everything starts losing kinetic defense so uh and this thing is packing two ex three extraordinarily power or no four let me think uh, grenade launcher grenades cannon and sub cannon shot yeah so this thing is packing four for versions kinetic weaponry uh you got the uh the sniper shot which uh does heavy stagger which is extraordinarily powerful and I do find out, and uh, this is the fourth match I in the suit, that uh, it actually has AoE to it. I didn't know that. Um, then it also has access to the uh, canister shot. And uh, it's not too shabby in melee. It will do like almost uh, 2800 to a general with a downswing, which isn't too bad. Um... But yeah, it's it's not a bad suit. Uh, it can fend for itself. If it's got backup, it can fend for itself and be one hell of a fucking player. Uh, this suit is extraordinarily great because it's got this beam machine gun that's on the standard Garadoga, but this this suit actually has firing correction, so it can, it can actually make use of the beam gun, uh, the, the beam machine gun. But yeah, very fun suit, very strong suit. <coughs> And uh, it has the one the one drawback to the suit is it has absolutely no melee resistance whatsoever. So everything is going to do 100% damage to you in melee. Um, okay, but yeah, so you, you got to get you got to be careful about things getting up close and personal. Pro point blanked towards the cockpit, get fucked. But yeah, what an insanely fun mobile suit! Like it's it's actually fun because this for one the suit looks great um very handsome looking suit uh they went with the one that actually has two arms there's actually a variant of this mobile suit that actually has only one arm that holds the cannon and the other the left arm is some weird looking pulse laser gun and uh yeah i don't know what that what that is about because i don't think we ever see that version uh animated or even fire its left arm so uh yeah i'm not gonna complain bruh i'm actually tired uh we uh i made some turkey soup last night and uh it was not done cooling by the time we got back home and i stayed up till about 11 o'clock and of course had to wake up early to take crystal work <coughs> and uh I'm actually quite tired, but uh, yeah. So the I've also noticed this actually has a fancy pants uh, firing effect when you uh, pull the trigger. You see that? Like you see the fire come out and then a big ring expand from the barrel. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, pretty neat. And by the way, I've noticed something. So you guys know how I have dead spots on this controller, right? It seems to only happen when I'm in a match in a mobile suit or if I'm using it for the PC. So, I don't know what what would be causing that. Um, yeah, so that's, that's something weird going on with my controller. So I wonder, because I was running around as a pilot uh, in base camp and I was running full circles with no stopping, but if I'm in a mobile suit, my suit will do that little jittery walk bullshit because it's not connecting toward the controller or something. So I gotta figure out what the fuck's wrong with this controller. And that what and that happens with any time I'm doing GBO too. Like after a few months, the controller will start acting that kind of fucky uh, fucky wucky way. So that's an interesting development that I've uh, noticed. Yeah, I was gonna make this a double feature, but. Uh, I changed my mind. I spawned in, uh, at the wrong fucking time. I thought, uh, Strike would have spawned in. But he didn't. But, uh, yeah, this, the one thing about this suit, it's actually very tanky. 
uh, with the exception of the non-existent ballistic defense. Uh, otherwise, it's other two defensive stats, right? Or incredibly high, which kind of surprised me. Like I was kind of, I was really surprised with how high the the ballistic and beam defense on the suit was. Um, that was pretty good. Like I like that. And it does have buffers on its back and left arm. I'm pretty sure it has a left arm buffer, or is it uh all just like like two different forms of back buffers? I think it may be just two versions of back buffers. But uh, yeah, what an insanely fun mobile suit! Like, it's very combo potential filled. Like, you can stun with the uh, the heavy stagger weapon and then follow up with the cluster. You can st stun with this cannon and then go into beam machine gun barrage or restun <coughs> with the grenade launcher. There's a t there's a ton of shit you can do with this suit, which makes it pretty cool. Uh, very versatile. I decided to take my gunner gun them out yesterday too, right? For shits and giggles, I was waiting for a cost to pop up that I could do some requests on because I'm starting to get Friday uh, requests. And uh, first match in the gunner gun them and I zero death in it. I'm like, oh boy, who would have thought? <laughs> Still hoping we get the full armor uh, uh, gunner. That'd be fun. Uh... <sighs> I, gotta, I still got to eat, too. I got that leftover pot roast. I'm probably going to make some noodles and uh, pour the meat and vegetables up on top and then have that. Probably lay down and take another nap and uh, start working on people's requests. Uh, I uh, I think I got... I have a new Patreon. So there's going to be a new Patreon board. I'm waiting for uh, today to be over when, you know, Patreon does all its paper or all its things and shit like that. Uh, that way I can get a more accurate who stayed and who left and all that shit. So, uh, that's gonna be a new one. I got a new Patreon's, uh, uh, request, uh, done already. And what, wow, what a fucking... One of his requests are gonna show why you should never, ever, ever bring three fucking supports on Arctic Base. Because his request was, uh... <coughs> Jim Striker, uh, in Nemesis colors, or Nemesis team colors, I think it was, uh, is this really nice, uh, bluish gray, uh, for, like, the inner limbs, and a darkish blue for the, uh, ar uh extra armor plates, and this orangish red for the, uh, yeah, that right there shows me that I have AoE on my cannon, and I'm, I did apologize to both Jacob and Moonwolf, I did not know it had AoE, that was my mistake. Uh, and this orangish red for the, like the the other bits like the ch uh, the little chest vents and the feet the bottom of the feet and all that Man, these motherfuckers brought three supports into arctic base And I'm just sitting here thinking why would you fucking shoot yourselves in the foot like that? I had a field day uh, With the exception of my teammates constantly knocking me the fuck over and yada 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 because god forbid you let the raid Melee the units now you got to come up and down swing me so whatever but, uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on the, uh, Garadoga, uh, the Garadoga Heavy arm Type. This thing is fucking banging. What a great mobile suit. What a fantastic mobile suit. Uh, I want to thank you guys for, uh, watching and all that. Let's take a look at the patrons. We have Brandon Markey, Astral, Casey, Cybaxter, Dragon Spartan, 90, Gunnam Nuggers, Jeff Dunn, Clav, Maverick, Moma, Con, Ninja Guy, 12, Peter, Strike, to uh, Strike, Oni, Savage, Two, Soul, Shalos, Alimo, Steel Talon, Minty Robo, uh, Minty Robo, Bird Person, Steel Talon. I don't think I said Steel Talon. Mysteries, Mercenary, Will Stab, Bird Person, uh, Talimaeus, Phantom, Osea, Viscarian, Xenagos, Michael, Bryson, Wolford, Banebeard, Crusader, Raven, Serena, Dragon, Gutter, Lyoko, Coco, Xenic, Shadow, and Jade, Bean, Streeter, and Salt, Plot, Aki. I want to thank you guys for supporting me. It means a lot, and we shall talk to you guys later.